Well, this weekend it's World Burger Day and one of the places that are doing a great option is Mr Toad's. Uh, they're relishing the thought to over the weekend uh, at many of their locations from today through to Sunday. Uh, you can get into a Mr Toad's Smoke and Beast Burger with fries and a drink. You can get it for, uh, you can get it from 90 dirhams. However, joining us here in studio from Mr Toad's is the Operations Manager, Rian Poitier. He's a South African. Good to have you in. Great to have you. I'm Thanks. sorry, I was making jokes before about South Africans are all uh, um, chokers in the in the World Cups. You didn't hear that, did you? <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay, good, good. I didn't want you to hear He's, it. He was, he was busy setting up the burger kitchen. <laughs> but uh, you work operations manager for Mr. Toads, and you've brought this amazing concoction in front of this. T- talk this through, what you brought in. So we've got our smoking beast burger over here. It is uh, two beef patties uh, with cheese. Uh, we've got some nice crunch textures in there with a bit of kale. It gets topped with uh, spicy Cheeto crumbs and a jalapeno popper. Hang on, Cheeto crumbs like the yeah, like the crisps. It, uh, exactly. Yeah. And it has our special sauce on there. It gets placed in a dome with the French fries and smoked up, and that infuses a lot of the smoking flavors into the so into e- the burger. Even the fries are smoked. Everything is smoked. Perfect. So I've got something for myself too. <laughs> <laughs> now you see. Now uh, Neil's vegetarian, but for many of our audience who are vegetarian, obviously Mr. Toads still have options available if you want to get down. Absolutely, we've got some fantastic uh, vegetarian options available. Our vegetarian burger is actually our own recipe of a quinoa and beetroot patty, uh, mm-hmm. and a various uh, other vegetarian. We have actually a whole Herbie Toad menu, we call it. So lots of vegetarian. I like this idea. You know, I mean, I was just before we started this conversation on air, I was, uh, you know, stating that Mr. Toads is right in my neighborhood, just just one block away. I could walk there. But every time I looked up and I, I thought that, you know, if the name is Mr. Toad, would they have vegetarian options? Now you've <laughs> cracked the code, Mr. Toad. We have something for everyone. That's what we are. We're your community pub for anything you need. Well, we'll uh, get you to lift the lid on this uh, fantastic Mr. Toad's Smoke and Beast Burger. Can you do the honours, please? Yes, here we go. Look at this. And uh, Wow. Ooh. Now, the, look, I know it's radio, obviously. That looks about the size of four burgers. That could. That looks huge. That's now, w- watch out. The smoke's going off. Are our fire detectors? <laughs> <laughs> we could have the fire department in here really soon. Um, how fantastic is this? It's on a wooden board. Uh, you've got the, the, the chips, as well. I still call them chips. Do you call them chips or fries? Chips. In chips? Br- yeah, it's I call, you call them fries, fries don't you? Yeah. And then you've got the meat patty, and then that Cheeto kind of crust is there. On the top, it is the fire alarm. <laughs> Oops. It'll, go, it'll go off. It will, I'm sure. Yeah, well, that's not us because it's outside. I mean, see, they, they, they've kept it quiet in the studios. I see. No, you know what that is? I think that's uh, people from upstairs not needing a reason to come down and be <laughs> able so. to uh, sample some of the burgers. Uh, if you want to get down and enjoy Mr. Toad's happy hours on at all the places, there's so many locations. Uh, Premier in Al Jadif, uh, Barsha Heights. Is that the one near you? That's right. Uh, Dubai Investment Park, Dubai Silicon Oasis, Dubai Airport, and the Ivan Batuta Mall. Uh, when it comes to burgers, what do you think makes a really, really good burger? Burgers is a very personal taste, I think, but in my opinion, it's all about balance. So some burgers you eat will have too much meat or the bun is too thick yeah. uh, or there's just too little, too much cheese. For me, it's all about having a, a right thickness on the bread bun, a, a great patty that, that can get cooked properly and stay juicy, a nice amount of cheese that can give you the balance of, of the fat and the flavor, and then a little bit of vegetables just to give you the freshness and the crisp. Yeah, now for, for Neil, when you're looking at those vegetarian patties, what do you do you prefer those fake meat or do you prefer the, the more vet, like the quinoa beetroot patties See, and things? I, I'll tell you something, I've never had meat. Yeah. So a fake meat or a real meat wouldn't really make a difference. It's not that I'm sh- moving out of being a meat eater to become a vegetarian who's missing meat or the texture of meat in my mouth. So for me, anything that is vegetarian, anything that has uh, some amount of good protein in it, I'm good for it. I mean, you want to have your guilty pleasures set right in, in, in your burger, but at the same time, it should have the right amount of protein also to have a complete meal. So, you know, I mean, I, I like the idea of the quinoa and beet uh, because quinoa good fibers, it's got protein. And then beet, well, who can say no to beet? Exactly. Now, uh, now Rian, how many of these burgers have you knocked back yourself in the testing process? Uh, quite a few. I'd rather not say. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, look, look th- these are amazing. Burgers are, you know, it's gone from being an American kind of, I mean, uh, uh, the American cheeseburger, you know, with the smash burger was sort of a, a poor man's food. And now it's a, it's a luxury item in some places, isn't it? Well, it's international. Where yeah. have you gone in the world and not found a burger? And that's why there's an International Burger Day now. 
Yeah, World Burger Day. It's coming up this weekend. As we said, you can go tonight if you want to get to Mr Toad's to get one of these. Uh, they'll be up on our socials very soon. Uh, and the burgers have got the secret sauce. I've got to ask you, what what is in the secret sauce? Oh, that wouldn't Come make on. it a secret. Come on, mayo, right. tomato. <laughs> well, what's in there? So, a I'll bit of mustard? You, I'll tell you, it will be a bit of a zing, a little bit of spice, and a whole lot of perfect. So that's as Ooh, much as I can say. Okay. Uh, have you ever thought of uh, a pro- probably a career in marketing? The way the way you sold it has a bit of zing, a bit of spice, and a whole lot of perfect. I love that line. I love that and line. And still the suspense as well. It's still there. <laughs> I can't give it all away. You guys have to come and try it for yourselves. Okay, well, we need to get into this before the fire department actually come in. <laughs> uh, Ryan Piotier, the operations manager for Mr. Toads. Uh, good luck with your International Burger Day burgers this weekend. Thank you so much. And thank you very much for joining us here on Talk 100.9.